And now another episode of Ask the Experts. <laughs> And now, another episode of Ask the Experts. Hello! Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Esteban, what are you? Hello. I am Joan's replacement. I don't know if you were aware. Joan had, well, I would say kind of an iffy departure in our last video. Joan. Touch me, Pavel. Joan, wait, come back! Joan! Joan! Mm -hmm. They're actually terribly allergic to mustard. Oh, you are also from the Knowledge Academy? I'm also from the Knowledge Academy. You never told me that. No, it's on a need-to-know basis. I'm more comfortable working with Joan, and good. uh... Good, Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. I don't know if I will. <laughs> I mean, if you say you're an expert in the field that we're talking about, then I'm, I'm good to be professional and do this video with you, I guess. Fantastic. Uh, Esteban, what is our topic for today? That's a good question. Great. So our... <laughs> we actually are absolute experts in the field of astrology. astrology. <laughs> it's very important to get this right because a lot of people, when we ask for questions in this field, got it wrong. Here's a sample of them right now. They're just scrolling. They're just scrolling. Oh, I, I see them. It's, a, yeah, <laughs> it's wild how I am able to do this. And Science is wild. <laughs> and we know exactly how it works. Math. <laughs> and on top of the questions that we're going to be answering from Twitter, we're also going to be taking a couple of questions from patrons who are watching us film this video live. And boy, I'm so sorry. We've got a question in from Shandy. Name all the signs in order. Go. Do you want to just, we can, we can go one after the other. You can go first. Ford Taurus. Mm. So I always put Virgo second. You always put Virgo second. Always. Really? Yes. In your life. Yeah. Okay, great. I think that that does speak for Virgo. Leo. Okay. Okay. Cancer. Great. The age of Aquarius. Pisces. Great. Stop. I wasn't telling you to stop. Keep going. Oh, okay. Yield, but I mean, everybody knows that. Right. Then plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Opal. Opal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's surprising. Lesser known. It's literally like one weekend in December. And then I would also say Auld Lang. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> Co. Perfect. <laughs> and then I think it's the middle finger for five downs. And then of course there's Capricorn, which I feel like Capricorn. should always and then it come end, last. And then it ends up. I think that pretty much answers your question. Right. I actually created a song to kind of like help. Cool, but we don't mind. have time for that. Please rate this insightful horoscope from the 1980s, says Echo. So I'm a Taurus, let me read Tauruses. You are practical and persistent. You have dogged determination to work like hell. Most people think you are stubborn and bullheaded. You're nothing but a damn communist. I'd say that's fair. Oh no, I mean you work like hell, it's boiling hot in mm -hmm. here. Yep. Communist, red tie. Mm. Yeah, no, <laughs> I I get it. All right, and you are a Virgo. You are the logical type and hate Discord. Well, I've never used that app. This picking is sickening to your friends. You're unemotional and often fall asleep while, um, uh, uh one time, it was one time, it was a long day, and I was, I don't have to explain myself. Virgos are good bus drivers and pimps. It's true, I've got a head. I wonder if Tauruses and Virgos make good uh, co-hosts. I don't know. I don't know. Who decided the personality traits behind each of the signs? So I did. Next you question. did. Wow. Wait, no. That that oh. is a loaded question. I thought that the the personality traits behind the science oh, is like a very traits. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. You know what? This is a wild story. The soda yak. People talked about the soda yak all the time. Glorious animal. Loved carbonated beverages. But yeah. one thing it knew. I above have a tattoo all, of that on my back. The soda yak. The soda yak. One thing it knows above all else is your true inner self. True. And people were like, what? This yak not only loves Mr. Pibb, but also can tell me like if my day is going to be good or bad? Yeah. It was the mayor of a, an ancient town. They had elected it because of its powers. The Zodiac was like, you want to, here, I can break down everybody's personality traits. It's all based off of the stars. And yeah. up until that point, only the Zodiac was able to translate what the stars were. Uh, in All relation out. to a person's soul. That's true. Okay. Could not run the town though. Could not, Could not yeah, the there town. was a lot, yeah, it burned to the ground after. 
Bangles. Cashly over on Twitter asks, why is the Cancer Zodiac sign a crab? So this actually relates to an old story, okay? Yes. The old man and the crab. This was a story that the Zodiac actually told to the village right as they were being impoverished and were asking him to actually sign into some laws that would actually as help. As the town was burning. As it was burning and he was just like, let me tell you a story. A story about a man who had never been to the ocean, went to the ocean, then he sees a strange creature with 10 legs. 10 of them. He was like, who are you? And he was like, I'm a crab. And, and he was like, you can talk, but let's figure that out later. That was a different story? I want to know, how are you like operating all those legs? Are you able to like go this way and this way? sideways and left ways and diagonal and the crab was like I can sir and that's why that's got that symbol yep and then the people in the village were like this is why you shouldn't have led us Sodiac what is that story and then he Sodiac was gone oh yeah no he doctor pibbed it out yeah <laughs> dr. Pib the classic mm -hmm. soda dr. Pib I'm so glad mr. Pib finally got his doctorate oh no 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 this is before so dr. Pib oh. left her husband <laughs> Rude. When they split, I'm so sorry. You got Mr. Pib and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> right. Support each other on Twitter, which is a great handle. Love it. Asks when will us Tauruses finally enact our plan of world domination? Support Tuesday. E Tuesday is when we have it tentatively planned, but they're asking because we keep pushing it back That's because it. we don't want to go outside. Sarah on Twitter asks, I know I belong to the sign of the scales, but might you explain to me what that entails? Ugh, uh, verse, no, <laughs> next. Gladys on Patreon asks, what are Leo's best at? Not winning Oscars. No. Sorry, that's a joke from 2015 for Leonardo won his Oscar. And I needed to- Was it to... 2015? Yes, it's absolutely 2015. Cine asked, what do you think sun, moon, and rising signs are? Sun and Moon were uh, Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. Basically, whenever you were born in those Pokemon games, that's your astrological signs for, for your those. Sun and Moon. For Sun and Moon. Right. When they revamped it for the Switch, they added the Rising. Exactly. There was Pokemon Sun Rising, mm -hmm. and there was Pokemon Moon Rising. Right. And so they were like, now you're born again. What is your sign there? Taurus again. Right. And then a lot of people are like, I'm a triple Pisces because right. they literally, they're like, love Pisces so much. I couldn't help but sign up as a Pisces in the Pokemon games. And that's where you get your Thruple Geminis. Thruple Gemini, yeah, exactly. Andrew on Twitter asks, as a fellow astrology expert, what career would you advise someone who has Libra and Scorpio placements in the 12th house? First off, Andrew, Ooh. you need to sell 11 of those houses. All right. At least. At and if least. you're a landlord. Yeah. Get a job. <laughs> Charlene on Patreon asks, someone ask something about Mercury in retrograde. Mm. So of course, Mercury in retrograde, that's a much talked about phenomenon. What exactly happens when Mercury is in retrograde and why does it affect us? Mm -hmm. And we both know this. Yes. I think we're at the point now where we've struck a balance as co-hosts me and Joan would do this all the time, mm. where we'd be able to say the fact together, mm -hmm. simultaneously. Let's just go ahead and explain what happens when Mercury is in retrograde. Okay. When, when Mercury, Mercury is, is in, in retrograde, retrograde the, it, it means, means that, that the, the planet's, planet's rotation, rotation, you know, the, the, Mm. Is is almost the the flavor, flavor of the, the Gatorade, Gatorade that is we, we is, <laughs> is currently, currently on, on sale, sale at, at Walmart, Walmart, which which means that we it's, it's probably not. not the, the best, best be but because, because it's, it's uh, orange, orange. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, that relates to the person's day, day. and, and it's, it's not, not usually, usually 
Good. Great. <laughs> Mercury and Mercury. Mercury and retrograde. Shy the Dude asks, are your signs not compatible? Is that why you're not friends? This is a very pointed question, Shy the Dude. I didn't say that I'm not friends with Esteban. I did. Okay. Regardless, I feel like, I don't know, I'm coming around to the idea that he's a pretty decent co-host. He's made me laugh mm -hmm. and a little bit cry, but I haven't shown that on camera. We no. edit, we've edited it all out. But I think despite that, you know your, you know your stuff. I know my stuff. And so I do have to respect that. And maybe, just maybe, we can become friends. Meh. Great. Anyway, thank you so much, Esteban, for being here and relaying your knowledge of astrology with me to all of these wonderful inquiring minds. You're very welcome. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Esteban. Thank you to all. This has been another episode of Ask the Experts. Before you go, I just got to announce to you all that just in time for Pride Month, we are debuting a brand new Could Be Gayer series. This look was created by the amazing artist Brie Grace, and you can get it in tee, tank, or hoodie form. Remember that your ensemble can always be gayer, and I think this is a pretty good start. They're available now, but it's a limited release, so get them while supplies last over at shop.thomasanders.com. Shop.thomasanders.com. Com. I can't say it. <laughs> Shop.thomasanders, it's my name. <laughs> In all sincerity, this is not a video to make fun of astrology at all. No. Very much an astrology gay. I love it. <laughs> I'm very much a Virgo. Regardless of like how much you believe in it, I think it's a really cool tool people use. I agree. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon so that you can watch these videos filmed live and ask questions live, you can go to patreon.com slash Thomas Sanders. We have tons of cool things over there and more stuff that we're introducing and I'm very excited about it. If you're interested in any of my previous videos, you can click over here. And if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. Take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. And then you want to do peace out with me? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.